It was just another piece of art stashed in a Sun City garage, but in just a few days, an unsigned and seemingly forgotten painting could sell for $10 million. And tonight, Derek Stahl got an up close look. Yeah, good evening. Uh, Jay Levine Auction House spent 18 months authenticating this painting, and they say the experts agree this is a real Jackson Pollock. They're selling it as part of an estate sale. The family initially just wanted an appraisal on some signed Lakers gear, and when the appraiser showed up, they found some paintings in the garage. I try not to be that oily. When I carry it, I really try to keep it all supported. In the world of modern art, people claim to uncover lost Jackson Pollocks all the time. But this... This is like the holy grail. This will by far be the most expensive, valuable item we have ever represented. Auctioneer Josh Levine says he was skeptical for months until he started learning about the original owner, Jennifer Gordon, and her collection. What did it was all the other art that it was found with then reading her life story, then reading all the documentation in her house, then going and doing research, then contacting experts, then hiring a private investigator. It turns out Gordon rubbed elbows with some of the biggest names in the post-World War II art scene. She's hanging out with Jackson Pollock. She knows all these people. He thinks she bought the painting in the late 40s for the equivalent of about $2,000. When she died, she left the piece to her brother in Sun City, and it's been tucked away there for the last 25 years. But Levine says in its heyday, these swirls, drips, and dots saw a lot. We know what apartment it was in in New York, and it saw some parties. It saw the social, Peggy Guggenheim, Hazel McKinley. I mean, this if it could talk, it would tell us about a lot of affairs and a lot of crazy stuff going on, because I've read the letters. Now, the auction is set for June 20th, and Jay Levine tells me several art collectors have already flown in to see this painting. Reporting live in Scottsdale, Derek Stahl, CBS 5 News. Great piece of history. Thanks, Derek.